Other news tonight, thieves are targeting just about anything on cars these days, catalytic converters, steering wheels, airbags, and now maybe even the gas in the tank. That's a picture from an organization that's been helping to feed families in Metro Detroit during the pandemic. They told 7 Action News reporter Faraz Javid they believe someone punctured their gas tank to steal the fuel. Emily Raridin from Michigan Mutual Aid Coalition says this is where the charity's van is usually parked, right outside St. Peter's Episcopal Church in Corktown. That's our only parking van that we have to pick up the food we pick up from other farmers markets. We do that a lot, so the van is very essential for our operations. The organization feeds over 150 people, but this past Thursday, their operations were impacted in a major way. We had our gas tank punctured and the gas was leaked from it. Emily had filled up the van the night before with gas worth $70. Has this ever happened to you guys before? No. Have you ever come across a situation like this before? No. This is Emily's van and the thieves got down right over here, stuck a pen into the gas tank and drained out all the fuel. Khalid Jadala from Downtown Mobile is working on the repairs and he says it's going to cost Emily around 900 bucks. But with part shortages, repairs may take some time. How often have you seen this happening in this neighborhood or in the community? Uh, this is probably the second or third one we've seen in the last three weeks. Is there anything people can do to protect their gas tanks? Not really. I mean, you just got to park in a safe, light up area and go from there. Meanwhile, Emily has chosen not to report the crime because she believes these are hard times and would rather create awareness. If somebody comes to me, I'm going to do what I can to try to help them. I would rather someone ask for help than, um, than just maliciously steal it. Now, Emily says that she and her team of 30 volunteers will try their best to make the deliveries using their personal cars. I'm Faraz Javid, 7 Action News.